hey guys welcome back um don't mind the puffiness my allergies have had me sneezing since like four o'clock this morning and it has not stopped <clears throat> so i sound a little ugh, and my eyes look a little <clears throat> then that's why today i wanted to come and show you guys some products that i regret buying or not so much that i regret buying them but just they're not they just so not working out for me. So if you have any experience with the products that I'm about to tell you, let me know. Please let me know if you have any recommendations like alternatives or something like that. Nothing major, major, only what? One, two, three, four, five products that I just can't stand and one product that I'm going to rave about. So let's get right to it. bad boy here this is the elf makeup mist and set okay so I used to well I still I got these I had about six of these bottles these sample bottles of the urban decay on nighter great great super great works well no problems but I just did not want to go and buy the big bottle so I said what's a great alternative and people were raving about the elf makeup mist and set so I go and I get this. Okay, so the first time I use it, you know, I got my makeup on, everything is set, everything's working, and then my face is itching. My face is itching, it's burning, it's itching. And I ignore it, I don't pay it any mind, I don't know what it is, I'm thinking maybe, you know, my perfume got in my face or something or whatever, and it's gonna go away. It stopped like three hours later. So I get home and I'm looking because I usually keep my stuff out on my vanity what I used. And I'm looking at everything and I'm like nothing here is different from what I normally use. I never pay attention to this. Second time. I used it and within like 5-10 minutes I'm itching and I'm like it's all right here is itching on the sides around my mouth my chin the usual areas that I tend to have an allergic reaction I never break out on my cheeks or bad on my forehead I would literally get like right here this area of my eyes like right in the center I'll get under my cheekbones I'll get like around the jawline that's my usual breakout spots or allergic reaction spots those are the spots that were really really I wanted to take my face off and I was like OMG what is going on and again I get home and then I look and I'm like okay let's take some of these factors out what's completely different so after going through everything I realized you know what this is my newest product this is what this is the only thing here that's new three strikes you're out so I go one day it's a Saturday I'm not going anywhere I clean my face I don't put any makeup on I spray my face with this stuff crack is not cool it's not cool I wanted to peel my skin off my face was red I started to begin to get like little bumps my skin began to raise kind of like when I have my reaction to latex it was not cool it was not pretty so I had to run and clean my face off full three steps and wash tone moisturize and even afterwards my face was still swollen my face was still itchy and I didn't want to wash it again I didn't want to exfoliate because I didn't want my face to get raw and you know more inflamed so I had to put a cold washcloth on my face and just lay down until it stopped and it stopped about an hour later it stopped burning it stopped itching so no 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 this is just can't do it can't do it at all this is the Garnier skin renewal anti-puff eye roller so what you're supposed to do with this bad boy is you're supposed to use this little roller thingy right there and just roll it you know get that stuff and roll it under your eye and it's supposed to help reduce the puffiness help 
I, I don't want to say reduce dark circles um, but definitely reduce the puffiness it, it didn't do anything there's I can't even go into any more it didn't do anything it rolled and it put the wet stuff on my eyes but it didn't do anything so yeah mm -mm, not good next up are the marks no place to run long wear eyeliner and this is a purple one now yesterday I went through two of these pencils a black one and a brown was it a black one no, I think it was a brown one and a gray one these anonymous <laughs> they won't even sharpen like you try to sharpen them and you see this one needs to be sharpened but this plastic around them it doesn't it, it, it sharpens and it breaks the point with this as you're sharpening around the point it's taking the point away and this is just breaking up so when I sharpen and I thought okay there's a little bit of point there let me try to line my eye scratch my eye not cold had <laughs> like a puffy eye had a migraine all day because I poked myself and scratched myself with a pencil that doesn't freaking sharpen it 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 works great the it, it really okay this is not working because it needs to be sharpened but the, the pencil itself it's creamy but I can't sharpen it. It just does not. And then it gets all jagged. The edges get jagged. And you scratch yourself. God forbid, you know, had I really done some damage to my eye, I'd have been like, you know, blind by pencil. Sorry. Marked by Avon. That sucks. So I have a few of them. And I'm just going to, just getting rid of them because I can't seem, if I can't sharpen it, I can't use it. So explain to me the point of having that one, okay? The Stila Lip Glaze. Okay, what's that fancy name they got on there? Finagrosse pour le bleu. <laughs> right. So, these came in a trio. I don't like them. First of all, I don't like tips like that. This tip where, can you even see that? Where you gotta, like, squeeze, turn this thing, click it up, and then the product comes up through. If it comes up, it takes a year and a day for the product to come up. You got to get it to come up through there and then you got to paint your lips. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like the colors. To me, they were just... On the picture when I saw them, they had more prominent. They just looked so different. And then when I got them and then I see what kind of tips they are, I hate these tips with a passion. I mean, as you can see, I, I barely use these anymore. I think I use them maybe once each. I, I some first of all, it takes forever when you're doing the click a click. It takes a minute initially for the for the product to come up through the tube, and you're sitting there and you're clicking for life, and you're clicking and clicking and clicking, and it takes forever for it to come out. See now when it comes out, because you know I'm talking about you, and the colors. I really don't like the colors of it. I mean I think I have these colors already and I just wasn't happy with that. I was really, you know sad that I got those. And it came with a third one, but the third one I never used that was actually in an upcoming giveaway because I just need to get rid of that bad boy. The crap is just so Neutrogena Fresh Foaming Cleanser a makeup remover and cleanser all in one for a freshly clean skin because you'll mop your face with it. So I've been going back and forth between Neutrogena and Aveeno to clean my skin. I use products from both lines and they work great. So fresh foaming cleanser. Okay, let's get the foaming on our face. Let's get it, you know, let's do it, do it. And what's that smell? Mm. Who's mopping the floor? Lysol. Pine saw. Anything with a saw. I'm going to put this in the bucket next time I go to clean my floors. This crap smells like Lysol. Okay? Seriously. It doesn't say anything here about having a lemony fresh scent. It doesn't say that at all. Oil free, hypoallergenic, non condom, soap free, alcohol free. 
There's nothing on here that says it's supposed to have a lemon fresh scent. Okay, that's number one. Number two, it smells like Lysol. It, I, I kid you not. It's my, if y'all can get into a Rite Aid or a Dwayne Wade anywhere, I think I got this in Rite Aid. If you can get into one of those stores and crack that bad boy open, sniff it. I guarantee you it smells like Lysol. I'm sorry. Last thing you want to be doing is going to kiss your bone. He's like, oh, did you mop the floors today? I just don't want to clean my face and feel like I just mopped it or smell like I just mopped it. It It's disgusting. It's noisy and it makes me feel like I was pregnant while I'm in the shower sniffing this. I want to puke. Like, really, Neutrogena? What, what in that double hockey sticks is this? Like, floor cleaner. That's what I'm going to use it for. I'm not going to throw it away. I am not going to pass it on to someone else. I am going to put this in the bucket of hot water and I'm going to mop my floors with this and watch it foam up. So y'all know that I have always had acrylic wrappings on my nails. Um, I've been wrapping my nails since I was about 11 and I can go into a whole long spiel about that but that's not what I'm going to do today. On today, <laughs> today I am going to do a product rave about this polish that you see here. See that pretty blue polish? I think I've had it on for like the past couple of videos because I did all my videos this week but if you follow me on Instagram you know that I've said before that I'm gonna do no acrylic but this time I really stuck with this so it's been officially a month that I've had no acrylic on my nails no gel no silk wrap nothing it's just been my natural nails and um so I decided okay I'm gonna follow you your rules guys and I keep my nails polished so I've been putting the Stanley Hansen Mir Miracle Cure strengthener on my nails on the bottom and then a polish on top of it now I have used NARS nails polish that's my chain of thought Chanel polish I've used NARS NYX Jordana uh, whatever wet and wild I've Sally Henson I've used so many different brands of polish and they chip they peel in 24 hours I'm a stay-at-home mom I'm a homeschooling mom with four kids yes I said one two three four four kids so I'm always doing something we're doing projects we're cleaning we're running errands we're building stuff breaking stuff and washing dishes washing clothes I'm cooking meals so my hands are always in something and I don't want to look up and I have nails with like half nail polish on them that drives me bananas and you know sometimes when you put on a nail polish you gotta put like two three maybe four coats just to get the actual color that you see when you look at the bottle because I hate looking at a nail polish and then when you go to put it on it's so see-through and you gotta layer it up mm -mm. this polish right here simple colors hello this bad boy I did my nails on Monday can you see that I did my nails on Monday Monday morning to be exact because the husband was in the room playing with the kids and I was on the couch trying to catch up on some Braxton family values but one coat one coat I repeat this is one coat this is one coat of polish I didn't even top it with a clear polish okay you see how shiny that is you see how shiny that is do you see fading do you see chipping it is now Friday at 9 15 a.m. I have not put a second coat on here I have not retouched anything I almost couldn't find the nail polish bottle okay and it's still there boom 199 sinful colors I'm sold that's it that's it one coat you're not chipping you're not fading you're not peeling off I hate and I stress hate when a polish just peels off not just flick off but literally peels off like you can pull that sucker off like that is that is nasty.com nasty I, I did test it and I always go to the nail salon and take my own polish so that if I needed to touch up I could touch up with the right color I didn't have to touch up at all with this at all it's been a whole week this is this is this is on point this is how it should be this is how all polishes should be they should go on with one coat that can give you the color 
that it is in the jar. I do not want to have to sit there and put four or five coats on it just to get to that color. That's a waste of product and it's a waste of money. Mm -mm. No baby, no boo boo. Sinful colors, you got this. You get thumbs up. Okay, matter of fact, you get two thumbs up because it's a week. Do you think I'm really excited about this polish? Yeah, I am. Love y'all. See you in the next video. Peace.